What's happening, everybody? Trey here, joined as always by my dad, Sean. And today, at Reactions to the Classics, we got a song battle here um, inspired by uh, a man that is uh, quite prolific in uh, sure. in his musical career, man. Uh, we're, we're going with Blur's uh, Out of Time against uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Queen's track, Northern Whale. Both Damon Albarn uh, projects, of course, and uh, of course he's the guy behind Gorillaz as well. So yeah. he, he's got his uh, hands in a lot of different things. Um, so looking forward to this. Don't know either of these Not tunes, either, um, but uh, this is going to be a fun one. And uh, shout out to shout out to David, our patron, for Thank bringing you, this suggestion to us, man. Uh, always looking forward to to this, and have enjoyed uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff from this era, you know, from you know Blur and Pulp and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I know this is a little bit later. We're a Blur. This track, Out of Time, is from 2003. Before we get into this, though, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button if you like what you see. We upload every single day, and uh, just have a bunch of music lovers in this community man would love to have you here as well as at our facebook and be sure to give us a follow on twitch as well but uh all that to say dad let's get into out of time by blur yeah and you mentioned you know we're gonna have some more blur coming up as well just a little right. teaser we're gonna have a top 10 that a patron brought us uh coming up soon for blur but as you mentioned 2003 off their seventh album it's the mm. lead single uh the faint gargling noises in the intro is part of a scene from Doctor Who. I'm sure mm. those of you in the UK <laughs> probably know that. Went to five in the UK. It was their mm. first release in three years, and their first release without guitarist Graham Coxon. Oh, big time, man. Uh, this looks like it's a staple of their live sets, and yep. uh, it has some critical acclaim, too, from NME. For sure does, uh, They placed it 73 on its list of two thousand uh, uh, 150 best tracks of the past 15 years. Uh, that was in 2011, and uh, later they ranked it 8th on its list of greatest tracks of the decade, and... 499th on best song ever. Boy, barely got in that top 500, Ooh. but it got there. It, it got it's there. Verified so. air. Wow, that's a lot of praise, man. But uh, as always, we'll have the lyrics pulled up in front of our respective computers. And uh, after this, we'll uh, go to Northern Wales. So thank you again to David. Thanks Let's you, get David. it. The Doctor Who stuff, I guess. <laughs> Laying that bass down nice and heavy. Gently out of time. 
little uh, Indian instrumentation up in I was here. gonna say the same thing, man. And you've been so busy lately that you haven't found the time to open up your mind and watch the world spinning gently out of time. Tell me I'm not dreaming, but are we out of time? We're out of Right, out of time coming in by Blur here. What do you think of this I one? I really Dave? liked it, man. You mentioned it during the reaction. Very stripped back instrumentation mm-hmm. adds to the power of his voice and the power of the lyricism. Just really, really. Oh, good. definitely. I uh, enjoyed how uh, just yeah minimalistic the yeah. arrangement was. The bass was obviously the uh, the highlight. Yep. Uh, especially you know lyrics didn't come in until what forty seconds yeah. in or whatever. It was cool, kind of with the, or it, not cool. I guess ominous at the start with yeah. the, like that's whatever the Doctor Who thing was. Uh, you kind of like perk up like oh man, there's maybe something dark uh, well, around I, I think, the corner. I think they really you know utilize the intro and you know so many yeah. Don't anymore, and even even in the you know 2003 to build power and entry and kind of get you to wean in a little more of like oh, okay, what's this going to be? And no, exactly. And then at the end, they kind of uh, had that little outro or yep. whatever as well that uh, just uh, wrapped it all up, almost book ended it. And they kept it under four minutes and did all of that. No, yeah, exactly. I was impressed by this one and um, just that message, uh, I, the, that chorus. I thought was really powerful. And you've been so busy yeah. lately that you haven't found the time to open up your mind and watch the world spinning gently out of time i thought uh the delivery there um was a uh, really uh really strong Agreed. um by uh by damon on that uh and then middle instrumental bridge was like a uh, very yeah. indian inspired yes, i guess very. uh again another thing that may, gave gives us a unique flavor it gives me something different which is what i enjoy and at the very end he asks Tell me I'm not dreaming, but are we out of time? Yeah. And then the outro says, we're out of time. Out, out of, of time. Yeah, that's So uh, really kind of, I guess, a bleak ending. But uh, what, what did they say, Carpe Diem? We got to seize the day, man, because uh, uh, you don't want to be sitting here and being like, man, I'm out of time to do what uh, do what I wanted to do. Um, so really strong song there. And now we're going to go to Northern Whale by The Good, The Bad, and The Queen. This is off uh, their debut album, I believe, from 2007. Another uh, Damon Albarn. And th- this guy's like, you know what? I don't just need one band or two bands. Let's get another Let's one. Let's get another one. Let's get everything band. going here. <laughs>
in bass work very prominent. Very. By Paul Simon from The Clash. Oh, ah, cool. okay. Definitely melody that gets stuck in the stuck in the head. Yeah, for sure. Northern Whale by The Good, The Bad, and The Queen, which I should have, uh, at the front, said some stuff about the group, man, because uh, they're a, a super group here. Um, pretty cool. We have, uh, of course, uh, we have Damon from Blur. We have uh, Paul Simonon uh, from The Clash here. And we also uh, have Simon uh, Tong from The Verve, uh, another group oh, wow. that I know is very well acclaimed. They only came out with uh, two records, and you know, Alburn said that they are officially disbanded as of 2019. Um, but uh, that's uh, that's pretty cool. A little uh, heavy hitter from uh, the UK area, that's for, for sure. sure. Um, this record debuted at number two on the UK chart, and uh, it's stated as a, a concept album in a sense, as its songs are all themed around modern life in London, as we kind of saw on this track. Right, yeah, exactly. Um, he, Alburn said that the record is, quote, a song cycle that's also a mis mystery play about London. Just wanted to get that out of the way, because I think that maybe uh, uh, kind of adds, because this song did have that mystique to it. It definitely had mystique with the odd instrumentation in it. Um, Another wave crashed over you, it puts you in a spell on a cold place you know well. It pulls you further out to sea, under the lights at Tilbury. I still love your melody. And so he just builds from there. Uh, in a tide in town, everyone hallucinated on you, but a northern whale wouldn't leave you until all England's tears are done and the day comes. We move on endlessly. So yes, if it is a concept album, you kind of got to know what's been going on mm -hmm. before, unless this is the first song. I don't know where it falls I in the I think third, third song okay, so, here, so. Yeah, I, I. What did you think of this song? It, it took a little bit for me to kind of get vibing with it. Um, to be honest, just because you know it is, it, it did have that different it's type different, of sound. Man. Uh, I, I think by the end of it though, I kind of liked it. I kind of okay. liked it. Not as much. Uh, you know, spoiler alert. I am gonna be going with uh, the blur tune out of time as my winner on this. But uh, this was different, man. This is a, I like a little out there. I thought the bass work was fantastic. Uh, had a bit of a fuzziness to it, um, and you know you. Kinda Kind of had the electronic flair a yeah. little bit as well um but you know definitely a bit more abstract i think for, for sure and you know i mean these are always difficult on first listen yeah because when a song is totally you know different as we said <laughs> not to be redundant as this song is you know i wasn't feeling it at all just gonna mm -hmm. be honest with you but now that i kind of understand it's maybe a concept and how it fits in you always go back and want to listen to these uh yeah several times to kind of start to get it and let it sink in and I couldn't stand it for the first half of it. It, it did grow on me a little bit after that, but that's going to be an easy win for me yeah. for Blur right now on first listen. And I'm, I'm wondering, what's, what's a northern whale? Do you know? I don't know, man. Well, well, Somebody will tell us. Let us know what Somebody a northern whale is down below, man, uh, as well. Um, 
And uh, yeah, we definitely as well want to know what your winner is. If you were digging out of Time War or Northern Whale, be sure to let us know in the comments. Shout out to David Thank for you, bringing David. this Appreciate to it. us. Um, and uh, always fun to, to you know stretch our, stretch our legs out musically and uh, hear for stuff sure. we haven't heard before. So until next time, y'all, thanks for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.